Hi, and welcome to Never Stop Tech Tutorials. Uh, if you're on this page, then you're probably here for one reason, and that's to upgrade your BIOS to either install a first generation Ryzen CPU, or you have no CPU, or you just want to do a BIOS update without loading the BIOS. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's done. So let's get started. First off, you're going to go find your motherboard BIOS, the current revision. This one looks like it was just updated on the 8th of January, so you're going to go ahead and download that. I already done it to save some time. You're going to go ahead and open the file up and locate the BIOS file, the A71 file. What you want to do is take that file, go to a flash drive of your choosing, and let's say this one. I have an old one in there, so I'm going to delete that. You're going to drag the current BIOS into that folder. And you're going to go ahead and right click and rename it to msi.rom. And then hit change it. Now, if you don't see the file extension, that's no problem. Make sure you go over to Drive Tools. Not Drive Tools, sorry. Go to Home. And I believe you can change the properties somewhere. One second, let me see if I can find it for you. There it is. Go to View and go over to file extension and that way you can see it otherwise you're just gonna if you don't have this on you're just gonna name the file something else so make sure you have file extension on so you can see the file extension and once that's done you save everything you close out and you eject the hard drive and we'll head on over to the motherboard and I'll show you the upgrade process for that so we're over at the motherboard and you if you're assuming you installed the BIOS file correctly this is all you need to do you need to take a flash drive you're going to go over to your MSI motherboard and you're going to go to the service port, if that is what it's called, right here. This is the first USB port next to the uh, motherboard flash BIOS button. That's fine. You don't need to turn on the motherboard. You just need to make sure it's plugged in via the 8-pin, 6-pin, whatever you guys have for it, and a 24-pin motherboard. Take your flash drive, put it into the first port. Um, if you did everything correctly, you should have power and you should see it on. If you don't, that's fine, it depends on your flash drive. But you're gonna go ahead and hit the BIOS button once and hold it, and then let go. And if you did everything correctly, it should start blinking. You'll see a blinking light right here. It will blink rapidly at first, and it should take about a minute. This whole process should take about five minutes or so. So feel free to walk away. If it's blinking like that, then you're off to a good start. You should see the flash drive start blinking, depending if it has an LED indicator or not. Um, if you did everything correctly after about a minute, this red light right here will just rapidly start blinking. And if you did everything perfectly within three minutes um, after that, the rapid blinking, the BIOS should be updated. Um, it does work. And for those of you that want to do the Ryzen first generation in an x570 motherboard it does work you need to get up to revision 1.0.0.4b and your bios will accept any first generation processor and that's it that's how you upgrade to the current generation x570 board and still run a first generation cpu the reason you would use it in my case is like a streaming pc but uh, if you guys have any questions let me know thank you very much and uh, i hope this helps well, if everything goes according to plan, you should be able to boot into BIOS, and there you go. A 1000 series CPU and a X570 motherboard. Um, don't mind the RAM. I'll fix that later. But yeah, this is all you need to do, and uh, hope it helps. If you have any questions, let me know.